Snatch Drunk. Tetris Attack is kind of a misleading title. The familiar Tetris shapes are completely done away with because the blocks rise up from the bottom instead of fall from the top. So instead of the usual Tetris fare, you arrange blocks by swapping them horizontally two at a time. Three blocks in a row of the same color and shape will clear them from the screen, and anything on top of them will fall into place, which can create combos, as you might expect. The more blocks you do away with, the faster they rise, and the game is over when the blocks fill the entire playing field. But what I really like about the core gameplay is that you can still move pieces around even as you get three blocks in a row, so if you think quickly enough, you can arrange combos just as pieces are falling and disappearing. So yeah, there's uh, really not much attacking going on here, and not a whole lot to do with Tetris either. But as it is, it's the best puzzle game on the Super Nintendo, and I say that not only because the gameplay is so addicting, but because this game really knows how to screw with your emotions. When you play this game in single player mode, everything starts out very slow, you know, to make sure you understand what you're doing. In fact, it's worth mentioning real quick that there's a big ass tutorial on the main menu that's full of all sorts of helpful stuff in case you're having trouble getting the hang of it. Anyway, you cruise through the first world, coast through the second world, and you're lulled into this false sense of security thanks to the easy, relaxing, calm music that says, hey, everything's all right, okay? But eventually you hit a point where the blocks rise just a little too far, and the music goes into panic mode, and god damn it, my heart jumps every freaking time that happens. Ah, just cruising along here. Ah, shit, 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 shit. I'm kidding around, but I really like how this game does this. There isn't another puzzle game I've found that pulls this effect off as well as this one does. A good puzzle game knows how to effectively manipulate the player's emotions like that, so as relaxing as Tetris Attack is, it can be every bit as stressful. I don't know of any other Super Nintendo puzzle game that gives me that feeling. I mean, there are a bunch of good SNES puzzle games, but they don't give me the same range of experience that Tetris Attack does. For example, I've always loved Bust a Move, but it gets a little dull after 15 minutes or so. Pieces is a fun puzzle game, but it's a thousand times better with a second player. The same could be said for Wario's Woods. And even then, the most fun had is just screwing with your opponent. Tetris Battle Gaiden comes close, I suppose, but it's just not as intense, or conversely, not as relaxing. Tetris Attack gives you more bang for your buck just based on the basic gameplay alone. Anyway, this is the odd puzzle game that has a story mode where you go head-to-head -head with computer-controlled opponents, and not only that, there are six different endings to see depending on the difficulty setting. For other game modes, there's the endless feature, which is as you'd expect. There's a two minute time limit mode. There's a puzzle mode where you have a set number of moves to use in order to clear out all the blocks. And of course, there's two player head to head mode. So yeah, I just wanted to do a video on Tetris Attack because it's one of those versatile games that offers a lot of different ways you can approach it. You can zone out in endless mode, which is like the video game equivalent of Xanax. You can take on an opponent, either a friend or the computer. There's the story mode if you're a big Yoshi fanboy. There's puzzle mode, which is a little like mode B in the original Tetris. And there's hard hardcore stress test mode that will make you sweat from your tongue. There's not many other puzzle games out there that make that kind of range, so go check out Tetris Attack. It's the best puzzle game on the Super Nintendo.